What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we're here with a special opening. This is actually a slightly early Steam Siege booster box opening. If you guys didn't see on the channel earlier today, we opened up our packs in the pre-release. So that was pretty hype. But at that pre-release, um, myself and Alex, aka Booster Kings, managed to get our hands on a sealed boost box. So to see part one, I guess you could say, of this boost box, be sure to go check out the link to his 18 packs that he opened on his channel in the description of the video. But in today's video, I have 18 packs myself to open for you guys. So this is absolutely wild. Check it out. My hands are just completely full. And as you guys can see in the background as well, we have the actual boost box that these came in as well but without further ado like no hesitations i just want to get into these packs i am so keen for today's video and if you guys are hyped for today's video make sure you drop a like down below but with that said let's get straight into these packs i am so keen we are looking for some shiny shiny goodness because if you guys have not already seen alex's oh, booster kings opening sorry um he got some amazing polls and i'm hoping to do the same but with that said, let's get straight into this pack. So we've got a Pawniard, we've got a Tangela, a Joltik, Larvesta, a Rufflet, Steelix Spirit Link, a Shieldon, a Persian, a Reverse Meowth with Stall and Scratch, and the rare in this pack is a Samurott Regular Rare. So we couldn't kick it off on the finest of power, but that is all good. All good. So it's got 140 HP with Ultimate Blade and Pike. Not bad. Alrighty, so let's move on to pack number two. Can pack two come through? Let's find out. Alrighty. So with these codes as well, um, these won't be available for you guys to redeem until the official release date. So be sure to scoot them on those ones up once it's released. And, and also, because there's going to be a lot of codes in today's video, uh, make sure if you manage to get one to share them around as well, because I'd love to share these with as, m as many people as possible. But we've got a Skip Loom. We've got a Halucha. This Halucha is actually a really big troll. It's pretty good with the ability Sudden Cyclone, which says when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with his or her benched. So that is pretty winning. It um, caused me a lot of troubles at the pre-release. But yes, so we got a Reverse Nidorino with Peck and Nido Press, And a Toxicroak Regular Rare. So it's got 90 HP with the ability Poison Enzyme and the attack Poison Jab. But not bad. So it's got some pretty, pretty aggressive looking art there. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of these Regular Rare arts. Because they're, they're some pretty powerful arts. But let's move on to this Eveltal Break Pack art. But yes, this is potentially a judge box. Because based off Booster King's opening, he got a crazy amount of good pulls. So I'm hoping that I can get just the same in my video today. Obviously, we have not kicked it off on the highest of notes. But hopefully, we are saving the best for last. But we've got a Mankey, a Fungus, a Nidoran Male, an Oshawott. Anareth, Holucha once again, that naked looking Holucha, let's be honest, a Duot, a Reverse Clauncher, and a Cabalion Regular Rare. Check out that, that art is pretty majestic. That is epic, like standing right in front of the sun. I love that actually, that is pretty cool. So it's got 120 HP with Quick Guard and Revenge Blast. Alrighty, so let's move, I believe that's pack number three. So let's get on to pack number four. So this will make a full cycle of each pack art. So let's go. Let's throw that pack off to the side. Let's throw the rubbish on the floor. Get that well and truly out of the way. But there is the fourth coat of the opening. Three and two. So we've got a Drifloon, a Marrow, Shellos, Mantine, Clink, Lampin. Clang. Can we get a clink clang? We got a captivating Pokepath. We got a Dino with Raw and Headbutt Bounce. So that's our reverse. And a Primeape with 90 HP with Swagger 
and spirited throw. So we're on our way towards a hashtag classic Amity opening, which pretty much is not possible with a booster box. But at this current moment, I'm highly doubting that with our falls. But um, yeah, not bad art once again. I love how the Mankeys are in the background as well. I love when there's multiple Pokemon, especially the pre-evolved form in the artworks of these Pokemon. But um, let's move on to this shiny Gardevoir pack art. And just hope for our first pull. Let's let's see if Gardevoir can come through for us and bring us our first pull of the left side of the box. But there we go. Code number five or something like that. Let's go. So we have a C dot, a Drifloon, Marrow, Shellos, Mantine, Gardevoir Spirit Link, Nuzleaf, Claw Fossil Anorith. A reverse lampant with mirror mirror and flickering flames. And an Amoongus regular rare, you guys. We have gone five packs with absolutely nothing. So this is terrible. Terrible, terrible. But we this has 90 HP with crazy spore and strange reaction. Yeah, I'll be having a strange reaction in a moment. But let's move on to the Volcanion pack art. Come on, we have to. It's, we've opened five packs with nothing. Six packs. We have to get something here. Come on. So there is a yet another code. There's going to be so many. So yeah, once again, if you um if you manage to take one, be sure to leave the rest for everyone else. It would be muchly muchly appreciated. Uh, but there we go. So we've got a Yanma, an Apom, a Clawsha, Fletchling, C dot. A Rapidash, Nuzleaf, a Braviary, a Reverse Fletchling with Peck, and a Volcarona Regular Rare. This is so bad, you guys. This is terrible. But this is pretty cool. This is the um one of the dual the dual typed uh, rares in the set. So as you guys can see in the top right of the card there, it is a Grass Fire. It's got 110 HP. And as you guys can see by the card as well, it's split 50-50 with it being half red and half green to represent fire and grass, which is pretty cool. But it's got Shimmering Scales and Power Hurricane. So cool. So let's throw that one off to the side and uh, just keep, keep hoping, I guess. Just keep hoping for something. Just something. But let's go. Hopefully this is like the calm before the storm, you know, you guys. Six packs. Like, we're not even hitting the one in three pack ratio at the moment. But hopefully this pack can come through with the goods for us. So there's three and two. You guys know the pack trick. But here we go. So we've got a Sneasel, a Yanma, an Apom, Clauncher, Fletchling, Skiploon, a Greedy Dice, a cleft key that's a crazy ability feel free to pause and have a read of that one because that is pretty pretty long definitely won't be able to keep that on screen long enough for you guys to read that one there's a ponyard with change order that's our reverse and a chandelure hollow it is about time you guys we have broke the curse it is a curse in this booster king setup as you guys can tell we're in the booster king setup and i just get the worst pulls here but it's good to see a hollow but we can do better we can definitely do better so it's got 130 hp with the ability sinister selection and the attack past friends so yes i did pull this one at my pre-release and it is pretty cool i do i do um like that artwork a lot but let's go we got the zonius break pack art so we've got to be nearing the halfway point probably within the next two packs i think i said we opened seven already I think we broke it on seven, broke the, the dead streak. But there's a code, three and two. And let's, let's keep, keep hoping you guys, because one pull out of seven packs is pretty, pretty bad. But let's go, we got a Nose Pass, a Litleo, Sneasel, Anorith, a Nidorino, Steelix Spirit Link, a Mantine Reverse, that one is just a common with Healing Wave and Dwindling Wave. And the rare is a Drudigan regular rare. You guys, we're back on the dead streak. Alrighty, so as you guys would have noticed, face cam actually cut out there. So we had a quick cut. Uh, Boost King's actually 
pointed it out to me. So we've got the Duratagon um, regular air just there out of that final pack before it um, majorly cut out. I believe it cut out a little bit further back, but yeah. Anyway, we gotta move on, we gotta keep pressing on. So we've got the shiny Mega Gardevoir pack art here. So once again, let's keep pushing, pushing through. We have had some terrible luck, as you guys can see. The, the opening isn't going as well as planned, but let's keep going. So there's a the code for you guys. Let's spin this pack around. And let's just keep hoping, keep the positive vibes. But we've got a Hopip, a Meow, Chimchar, Nosepass, Litleo, a Clang, a Braviary, a Armor Fossil Shield on, Monferno Reverse, and a Gastrodon Regular Rare. It's got 110 HP with Sticky Shot and Water Pulse. So yeah, nothing too, too crazy there again, you guys. We're having such a bad opening. Like I'm pretty much calling this one a classic Amity opening at the moment. But let's keep pushing on. So I can't remember what pack number this one is now. That's all G, all good. There is another code, another code. Three and two. There we go, so we've got a Tangler, we've got a Krogunk, a Marif, a Litwick, Hopip, Armor Fossil Shield on, a Flaffy, Monferno, a Clink Reverse, that one's just a common, and a Bisharp Hollow. Not bad, so this one is a dark metal type. As you guys can see, it's got some pretty, pretty dark art, and I love the shiny Bisharp too. It's pretty, pretty cool. But it has Retaliate and Mac Claw. So Mac Claw says this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. So that's pretty cool. Not bad. It's good to see those dual, the dual type hollows. The reverse hollows are even better again. Let's, let me just point that one out. So if we manage to pull a dual type reverse, that's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. But let's go. Still got heaps of packs to crack through. So we're going to keep pressing on. This video is going to be long enough as is. But there we go. So we've got a Rufflet, we've got a Tangler, a Krogunk, Marie, a Litwick, a Zvilus, a Monferno, a Ninja Boy. Nice, I think that's the first time we've seen Ninja Boy as well. Not bad, alrighty. And then we've got a Joltik Reverse with Attach for 10, and a Yane Mega Regular Rare. So this Regular Rare, I'm not too disappointed to pull because it has the ability there, it says um, Sonic Vision. If you have exactly four cards in your hand, ignore all energy in the attack cost of of each of this Pokemon's attacks. So for example, there is a Yen Mega Break in this set, and it, I believe it has an attack that does like 100 damage. But it costs three colorless, but if you've got four cards in your hand, it costs nothing. Like you can just use that attack, and that is pretty cool. And I believe the attack like cancels all effects and all that sort of jazz as well. So that's a pretty good pull. I might just throw that one off to the back there. So it's kind of just in the corner. But let's keep pressing on. That is probably one of the best regular rares to get from the set, in my opinion, as long as you obviously play it alongside the game mega break. But this pack is absolutely shredding. Let's throw that all off to the side there. There you go. There is yet another code. So let's go three and two. And we are, hot. we are well overdue for something shiny, you guys. So let's go. We've got a Clink, a Ponyta, a Ponyard, an Oshawott, a Rufflet, Gardevoir Spiralink, the reprinted one from Primal Clash, a Duot, a Klefki, a Steelix Spiritlink Reverse. So that's pretty cool. Not bad to see that one. And... Den, den, den. We've done it, you guys. We have pulled... A Gardevoir EX. It was it was well overdue, you guys. I'm so pleased to see that we do have some EXs hidden in these final, final packs. Talking about Suspense Builder, you guys. I was getting worried. I, I bet you guys were getting worried as well. But this one has 170 HP with Link Blast and Luminous Blade. So this thing absolutely ruined me and ruined my chances of getting all four pre-release promos as the first place prize at the pre-release. 
But yeah, so it has Link Blast there. It says, if this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon have the same amount of energy attached to them, this attack does 70 more damage. And that thing just wrecked house because I just happened to have the exact same amount of energy on my active as my opponent every single time. But let's keep pushing. That's pretty cool. It's good to see an Ultra Rare from this box. I'm so glad. But let's move on. So there we go. Another code for you guys. Hopefully the suspense is real and we have absolute power at the end of this box. So we've got a Mantine, a Clink, a Ponytail, Ponyard, an Oshawott, Pokemon Ranger, that's pretty cool. We've got an Ambipom, a Nidorino, a Reverse Larvesta with Bug Bite, and a Xerneas Hollow. Hello, it's got 130 HP with Geomancy and Rainbow Spear. So cool. It's good to see another pull. If you know, all of a sudden we've like got something happening here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five more packs left to go from this left hand side of the booster box. But yeah, once again, if you guys have not checked out Booster Things opening, be sure to go check the link in the description. It'll direct you straight to his video where he got some amazing pulls. But there we go. So there is yet another code. Hopefully, when those ones are redeemable, you guys are getting some amazing stuff from those codes. But let's go. So we've got a Mankey. Not bad. That's pretty pretty beastly. Mankey art, I gotta say. A Fungus. A Bergmite. A Joltic. Mantine. Claw Fossil Anorith. A Zwilus. A Drift Blim. Ooh, ooh, that is what I'm talking about, you guys. We have a Hydreigon Break. So it's got 190 HP with Calamity Blast, which says, discard three energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I can see some potential in that one. And then we've got an Avalog, so definitely not getting any doubles here. Hashtag Amity Luck. So let's throw that one up the back. So it looks like we're getting something, you guys. We got some some sort of uh, EX flow, I guess you could call it. Hashtag EX flow in the comment section below. Spit and bar, spit and rhyme. But let's go. I think I even just rhymed again. God damn. God damn, there is yet another code. So we have a Shellos, a Mankey, Fungus, Bergmite, a Joltik, Persian, Flaffy, a Drift Blim, an Apom Reverse with Fiddle Around and Tail Jab. That's pretty cool. Like, once again, plenty of Apom in that art. That is pretty cool. I can appreciate that one. And, 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 a Bastiodon Regular Rare. So it's got 150 HP. It is a metal type. It has Counter Head and Forest Rage. So plenty of reading on that card. I'll be sure to Leave that there for you guys to pause and have a read of that one. But yeah, cool. It's cool to see Bastiodon getting another print. I think the last time I saw Bastiodon was in one of the Plasma series sets. I can't exactly remember which one. But we got three more packs to go out of these 18. We definitely have not been treated very well at all. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. But hopefully these last three packs can come through with something for us today to bring the Steam Siege hype, if you know what I mean. We got we to gotta bring the hype. But let's, let's see what we can do, you guys. So we've got a Drifloon, an Apom, a Larvesta, Dino, Shellos, and Azumarill. So this is the first Azumarill I've seen so far from this side of the box. It is one of the dual types. It's got Fairy and Water, as you guys can see, with the coloring of the card as well. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Fletchinder, a Skiploom. A Litwick, Lit, Litwick Reverse with Slightly Simmer. And a Jump Luff Regular Rare. God damn, you guys. God damn. It's got 90 HP with Fluffy Transport and Solar Step. But yeah, we're just definitely not having the wildest of openings by any means. Because we got two more packs to go. Hopefully these two packs can come through with some amazing pulls. But we will see. We will see. Oh my god, here we go. The packs are playing games with me as well, you guys. Oh, there we go, struggle is way too real with that one. 
Awesome. There you go. There you go. And let's go. So we've got a Mareep, a Drifloon, an Apom, a La Vesta, a Dino, Fletchinder, Duot, and a Zoomerol. So like, talking about not seeing this Zoomerol, now we've seen it twice. It's got Plater off and Bubble Drain. Ooh, that this is pretty cool. So we got a Shift Tree Reverse Rare. So this is a dual type reverse. And the coolest thing about these reverses is it also has a multiple reverse foil. So you get like leaves for the grass type there, and you also have the darkness pattern there for the like darkness typing as well. And it looks so good. This is actually a hollow in the set too, which makes it that much better. It has Wicked Wind and Extra Sensory. Feel free to pause and have a look at that one because that looks so good in person. And from this pack, the rare is... Wow. I don't really know what to say, you guys. That is amazing. Like, I did not expect anything. Like, this side of the box has been treating me so badly. And to see that has just, like... It just makes me so happy to see that um, this box still had something to give. And, oh, just look at it. What a card to pull as well. So we got the Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art Secret Rare. Not Secret Rare. Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art. Sorry, I, I so want the Secret Rare, but, you know... You know, 210 HP with Despair Ray. So what does Despair Ray says? It says, discard as many of your bench Pokemon as you like. This attack does 10 more damage for each bench Pokemon you discarded in this way. So I don't see that being like 100% beneficial as an attack, but it is, it is called Despair Ray. So, you know, but that is an epic pull, you guys. I'm really happy that we managed to pull... A mega full art like that is epic that is really good you guys and we still have one more pack to go so in the end it doesn't look like we got too much but it is a lot it really is but let's go final pack let's get that hashtag last pack magic bring the hype that that second last pack fully came through i'm so happy that we managed to pull that mega gardevoir that is so amazing but there you go final code of these 18 packs Hopefully you guys are getting something amazing from those. But let's go, see if we can hit it off, uh, finish it off on a high note. So we've got a Sneasel, a Meryl, Yanma, a Fletchling, a Mareep, a Holucha, Lampin, Captivating Pokepuff, a Reverse Bergmite with 70 HP with Icy Block and Icy Snow. And the final rare from these 18 packs is... A Nido King. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a regular rare, obviously, so nothing too too crazy there to finish it off. But the artwork, I can I can definitely appreciate that artwork. So it's got 150 HP with the ability King's Palace and the attack Parallariat. So nothing too wild there. So let's get straight on to this recap. We'll just go through the bulk here. So we got the Yan Mega. Uh, Regular rare, which is pretty playable and pretty cool in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that one. Just bump the camera and jazz. So let's get this in an order, some sort of an order here. Let's throw the hollows at the front in some sort of an order. There we go. So this is the recap, recap from the 18 packs. It was like very, very like hashtag cl classic Amity opening until we hit the second half of this opening. But we got a hollow chandelier, which is pretty cool. Love that art. Hollow by Sharp, the dual type, introducing dual type, that's pretty cool. We got the Xerneas Hollow, a Hydreigon Break, which is not bad, not bad at all. Feel free to feel free to pause and have a read of that one. Um, then we've got a Gardevoir EX, and then to go with the Gardevoir EX, we got the Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art. So definitely the uh, highlights, I guess you say. We've got our Ultra Rares here, these are our ultra rare highlights so definitely not the craziest of pulls like this is amazing Gardevoir EX is pretty cool as well and High Dragon Break I think I think the High Dragon would definitely be my favorite what um let me know in the comment section below what your favorite pull was out of these packs that I opened today but with that said regardless of pulls let me know in the comment section below about that Mega Gardevoir because that looked absolutely epic 
But with that said, if you guys enjoyed today's opening, be sure to drop a like down below, and I look forward to seeing you guys in another one of my Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.